Welcome to our first ever KU Spotlight episode. There are a lot of new and exciting things to look forward to, where we will be bringing you the latest stories and news that deserves to be under the spotlight. I'm Natalie Vitelli. And I'm Dominic Boatwright. We have a great show for you tonight, so let's get started. So, Nat, did you see the KU's Got Talent? No, unfortunately, I did not, and I really, really? wanted to see it. Well, honestly, Nat, you really should have saw it. It was phenomenal. Maybe that video can catch me up a little bit. Honestly, I believe it will. So, let's see what's happening. The annual KU's Got Talent, where KU students came together to showcase their talents. The night featured rappers, stand-up comedy, bands, and solo artists. The show was also hosted by comedian and KU student. Kirk Griffiths. Here is some footage of the two runner-up and winner. Out in the darkness, a few. Did you know that I was in my middle school talent show? Really? I was the host. Oh, really? That's, that's actually impressive, Nat. <laughs> Thanks. I try my best. I mean, how, how far do you think it went? You know, do you think it was a long time ago? Feels like a long time ago. Oh, well, but, you know, it really wasn't that long. But we, we definitely will be back after this commercial break. And when we return, we have the Kids Tones, who also participated in KU's Got Talent. We'll be right back. Four. Three, two. I'm J.R. Aquila. I graduated from Kutztown in 1982. Now I'm the event producer director here at Comcast Sportsnet Philadelphia. Hi, I'm Jim Bolden, and I graduated from the program in 1986. I'm now a business correspondent for CNN in London. Seven, Ten, six, five, four, three, two, one. Kurt Stones is a student-run a cappella group on campus, and we focus mainly on performing modern and old, older popular music. The main thing that's different is that we're student-run, so we don't have a teacher or anything. We run the whole group by ourselves, and it's really fun. In the past, we've done uh, Backstreet Boys. We did that our very first semester, kind of a throwback. Uh, we did a jazzy tune called What'll I Do. Uh, we did Beatles one semester. So we have a nice mix. I'm an elementary education major, and I didn't see music being a, anything that would like help me in my career. But I missed it so much, and when I found out about the Kutz Tones on campus, I, I just had to join. I had to audition. I want us to be recognized in the community as a great musical experience. I want us to be the first group that people think about when they want somebody to sing or perform for their event. I want us to be something that people talk about for days after our concert. I want some, us to be something really great. I definitely want to get out in the campus and community more um, since we're still pretty new, only in our third year. Not many people know us, which is completely understandable, but I'd like the whole campus to be able to know who we are. want to come to Kutz Tones concerts and be like, yes, Kutz Tones, I know them, I went to school with them, and maybe even be famous one day. We 
have so much fun singing together and learning new things and working together. It's, you become a second family. Like I feel like I can go to my Kutztones members for anything. I can talk to them about any problems that I'm having. I can talk to them about how my day is going. It's just a great support system. And we have a lot of fun doing what we're doing. We take anyone. You don't have to be able to read music. You just have to love music, be a great singer, and be excited and be able to have fun. Dom, I have to say, the Kutztones sound is spectacular. I've always wanted to sound like them. <laughs> you know, Nat, I bet you sound like an angel. Well, you haven't heard me yet, so I mean, I'll Honestly, keep working on it. Uh, I'm just kind of scared to hear what you sound like. But I am curious to see what the people around Kutztown have to say. Hi guys, Brady here with this week's edition of Spotlight on the Street, where I'm going to play a little game with my fellow students. I'm going to ask them who tweeted it, Kanye West or Donald Trump? Let's get started. Who tweeted this? I have never seen a thin person drinking Diet Coke. Donald Trump. You are absolutely correct. <laughs> Hi, do you guys want to play a game? We want to innovate and we will win someday. Kanye or Donald Trump? Donald Trump. Nope. Kanye said it. Yeah, you would think with him like in the election and him saying winning that would be Donald, I but it's Kanye. Read Trump's tweets. The doors may be heavier, but I promise you we will break them. Kanye or Trump? Trump. Kanye. Oh my god. <laughs> my Twitter has become so powerful that I can actually make my enemies tell the truth. Kanye or Trump? Oh, uh, that's Donald Trump. You're absolutely correct. Awesome green hair. Okay, so I'm going to ask you who tweeted it, Kanye West or Donald Trump? Okay. Also, for anyone that has money, they know the first rule is to use other people's money. Trump or Kanye? Uh, Kanye West. You're right. Everybody's been getting it right. Yes, I am personally rich, and I can buy furs and houses for my family. Trump or Kanye? Kanye. Definitely, you guys are so good. What the heck? Do you guys follow them on Twitter? Uh, no, I'm just good at knowing people, I guess. Oh, do you know them personally? No. <laughs> no. Well, they're both dumb, so I guess. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, girls, do you guys want to play a game really quick? That's okay. It's just a really simple, easy, fast game. All right, Dom, I need to know. All right, if go it for was, it. <laughs> if it was between Kanye West and Donald Trump, who would you pick for presidency? Between Kanye West and Donald <laughs> Trump, you mean? <laughs> Trump? Yeah, Trump. That's his actual name, apparently. It's Donald Trump. I did not know that. Okay. But we'll be right back after this commercial break. We don't just spark minds. We set them on fire. We build character. Character builds success. Celebrating 150 years. Welcome back to the last of our spot last segment for Spotlight. This will be the golden ticket. Golden Ticket revolves around the newest and most popular movies out today. You know, Nat, I'm actually itching to see a movie, but I don't know which movie to watch. Um, I think the last time I saw a movie was like two weeks ago. Really? Yeah. Well, I went with the critics, the best critics, by the way, at the Golden Ticket, I have to say. All right. Hey there, I'm Matt Trahune. And I'm Sean O'Brien. Welcome to the Golden Ticket. Today we're here to look at the greatest story ever told on screen. Wait Star Matt, I sense a disturbance in this intro. Star Wars The Force Awakens definitely awakened my interest. Which do you like better, the prequels or the sequels? Ooh, uh, I'm going to have to go with the original trilogy on this one, then. I'm sorry, I forgot to mention that. Yeah, I, I like the new movie, and I like the prequels, but the original trilogy is just always in my heart. If immediately it, they, they added politics in the prequels. The Can't get over it. Chancellor. Can't get over Jar Jar Banks. But for the most part, prequels, though, saw them when I was younger. They're still, they're still good. They still uh, 
His first attempt to reboot the franchise definitely was not as successful as this attempt. Great movie. Great movie. Episode 7. Well, it's, he sold it to Disney. Disney's going to yeah. make everything better. That's true. It's where dreams come alive. But <laughs> we don't talk about Jar Jar Binks. We truly don't. Mace Windu, I'll talk about. Mace Windu, champion of the Jedi Order. Coolest. Also, what I liked about the prequels is they brought way more Jedi into it. I like to see the history of the Jedi. That's true. Just not that weird young Yoda puppet. I don't... He looks very I, bizarre. He, he looks cockeyed and all sorts of weirdness is happening. Yeah. And I like what they did in the, the second two. In episodes two and three, they CGI'd him like they did with the rest of the movie. Good, good, good use of CGI with Yoda. Yeah. Oh, you know, over CGI'd it with the rest of it. Yeah. In, in the new movie especially, I like that they took the best of what they did in the original trilogy, they took all the rich history that was there, and then they took what they did good in the prequels, put it together, made an awesome movie. Do you think they're going to bring someone in the, in the future movies, like uh, someone like Boba Fett and Jango Fett? I like, mean, there's definitely room, you know. We still got, we have still haven't, we don't know where Lando is. Yeah. I mean, Lando's just been gone. It, it, he, he might make an appearance. Might make an appearance. Hey, Han came back. Han came back. Leia came back. Leia came back. That yeah. weird fish thing, I don't remember seeing him, but. Admiral Akbar. It's a trap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, for all in all, this movie is definitely not a trap. Definitely oh, worth, no. Definitely worth the watch. I got to ask you, though, Kylo Ren. You like him or you hate him? Half. Half. Yeah, I don't like his personality. He sounds too whiny. He just, he's a kid. He just, he's trying to be like Vader, but love the helmet, love the lightsaber. You can't go wrong with it. The lightsaber. The, 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 with the new villains, they have been doing the lightsaber so good. They, for Darth Maul first, du double-sided, awesome. Count Dooku had the cool curved handle, and now they got Kylo Ren. The, the, the triangle the sword side. thing, that, just the coolest thing I've ever seen. I don't care what the internet memes did before the movie came out. It was a great movie. I think the, it, it literally looked like fire. Yeah, like fire. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> We're in the future, man. The, we the are. future. Yeah. I can't, can't say enough how, how much I appreciate this movie. A lady hero? Come on. A lady, Ray. All right. Well, that's all the time we have with you on the Golden Ticket. Tune in next time. Live long and prosperous. Matt, Matt, wrong movie. May the force be with you. Hey, Matt, are you a Jedi Master? I have no idea what that means, but I am a Chewbacca fan. Uh, just, you don't know anybody else? Nope, I know Chewbacca. <sighs> <laughs> I'm so disappointed. Oh well, but that's all we have for today. So from the conquering streets to updating you with the latest stories, Spotlight is here to cover it all. Stay tuned next week for another episode of your favorite new show that takes the ordinary and makes it bright. Till next time. Have a great and safe night.